ah, what's going on today? You know, uh, I don't know why I try to do this uh, weird little like um, thing at the beginning of the videos, like I'm gonna like trick you into watching longer because I'm not telling you what the video's about right now. Because you, there's a thumbnail in the title in the video. That's why you clicked on it. It's so dumb. Why do I do that? Let's go. All right, hope you like this video. Uh, we're checking out this new putter I got called the Watts Timberwolf Putter by Watts. And never used something like this, so I thought I'd uh, give, it a, give it a go and take you along for the ride, see what you think. I've never, I've seen stuff like this, but I've never really thought they were any good. I don't know, we'll, we'll check it out. And by the way, I hope you liked the video please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you don't miss anything. Let's dig into this guy. All right, what have we got here? This is the um, Watts Timberwolf Putter. I believe they make three different models and uh, roughly, I believe the price is about $2.99. So that's not like cheap, but it's not super expensive either. And they're handmade, custom made wood putters. Here's the deal with this. Now you can see it is a lot taller than let's say your conventional uh, Scotty Cameron putter or any mallet or blade or mallet type of putter. It's a lot higher up. What does that do? Well, this is the theory behind it. What it does is it raises the center of gravity, uh, the, uh, the sweet spot up higher on the face of the putter. So what does that do? So when you strike the ball, think about it ball let's say you strike it with a regular style putter this is going to be a lot lower unless you lift the putter up when you putt which some guys used to do that but it's not not common so you're probably going to strike it below the equator of the ball which launches the ball in the air which is supposed to happen right and then it hits the ground and starts rolling forward what this potentially would do would be you would strike it a little bit higher uh, then the equator right on the equator maybe slightly above it Okay, and so that center of gravity is a lot higher so the launch of the putter or the ball would be lower and It would start forward roll a lot sooner. It might even come out with a little topspin I don't know. We'll see what it looks like on super slow-mo and see if we could see a, a difference between the two so anything to make your putting better I'm for whether it's a wood putter or whatever and if that ball rolls better, that's great. I do like the contrast of the different wood stains on the putter. It gives you a good uh, perception on the green. It helps you hopefully align better. It's, uh, it's different for everybody, but we'll see if that helps. This is about a 355 gram head putter. So it's fairly heavy, good weight. Uh, they have different models with some back uh, cut out of them so that might redistribute weight in a different way it's a what they call a faced balance putter so if you balance it here that face is perfectly and it looks you know perfectly balanced to me some of the other face balance ones tilt a touch this way that I have so this one actually looks pretty good handmade and they're made to last so the lacquer they put on here is a custom kind of formula they put on. So it's weather resistant, weatherproof. What's cool is genuine leather cover for your putter. This is pretty sweet. Look at that. Nice little country feel for you. So um, I'm going to roll it here on the practice green. Then what I'm going to do is I'm not just going to practice green this thing and tell you to go buy one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put my game at risk and use this for the round of golf I'm about to play. So, and I'll give you feed, I'll give you some insights of what I'm sensing, what I'm feeling out there on the course. Like it's not a review unless you use it for real. You can just try something out and tell you it's great. I don't know. You gotta put it on the course under pressure. You gotta put your full trust in it and then I'll let you know if it's uh, worth its weight in wood. Let's hit some rolls. Uh, 
an initial thoughts right out of the gate is uh, I like the sound it makes. It's like. There's nothing better than a ball hitting a piece of wood. Except a tree, obviously, but it sounds good. Uh, it is a little weird having it so tall. I'm not used to that yet, but uh, I just feel like, like it's so high. I feel like I have to keep the, what's good I think is, I feel like I have to keep the putter low to the ground and not lift it up because the, um, the putter's so tall. So I feel like I'm forcing it to stay low. I don't, I don't know if that's a good thing or bad thing, but it, I don't know, it feels good. And it's a giant sweet spot. The cool thing about the wood is they can make that sweet spot so much bigger. Obviously, there's a lot more real estate there. I do feel like I'm driving a houseboat with this thing. It's just so tall. I feel like I'm like up there. So it's interesting. Maybe just call me captain today. All right, here's the deal for today. We're out at Lake Arrowhead Golf Course. I'm playing with the Watts putter. I'm playing with Matt and Jeff, and we're playing for money. Well, yeah, money. We're, we're doing a little gambling today. So I'm putting this puppy, if this puppy doesn't, if this costs me money, it's out. It better, you know, so for, I've never, put, this would be the first time I've used this. Uh, first time I ever used it was on the practice screen. You saw that, so. No, like we're not, just this is a real deal review of this thing can it hold up under pressure so um, and I'm gonna put the blast motion on here show you some stats as we go and I'm working while we're gosh, and I'm giving them strokes how many six I'm not counting part threes no part three strokes six strokes, six strokes. God. Six strokes. here we go birdie putt here on the second hole and it's about 25 feet or so so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on the blast motion sensor on the putter and see if we can uh, see what kind of numbers we get in terms of our putter face that's all I care about is getting it square tempo 2.1 one okay my putter face angle was zero negative 0 0.5 degrees at impact so anything within a one degree variation is really good. So I like that. My first birdie uh, ever with that putter. Rolled really nice. Uh, well, just, it was nice, all right. All right, I hit my tee shot in the trees. It was a hazard, took a drop, and hit a seven from like 180 to maybe 15 feet. So if I make it, I win the, the skin on this hole. So another pressure, pressure putt. We gotta see if we can make something that really counts. I felt like I left the face open a little bit. I did, but I was, ah, that's my fault. That wasn't the putter's fault, that was me. I was, once I got over it, I had a different read, a different feel than behind it. And so I made adjustments and then I still didn't trust it with the stroke and I wanted to, I wanted it to break left. I was right the first time, it broke right. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm playing three holes with my putter, my old, my, my Scotty Cameron. And then I'm going back for the last three holes 
with Watts wood putter. Big money on this one. So we're going back to Wood Guy, Watts. Oh, that was a clutch. All right, that I didn't want that kind of clutch putt right out of the gate, but it was for uh, it was for a push, a carryover, so like a four footer. Good job, Watts. I was nervous, to be honest with you. Uh, here we are in 17, 15 dollar hole. 15. It's big money for me. It's like a sleeve of Pro V ones. Sounds great, looks good, feels good. Cons, um, I hit it fat once. So it, it, there's a learning curve. You gotta get used to being so high up off the ground. So, and um, trust issues, I have trust issues. So I wasn't used to it. Uh, made a couple, one clutch putt. That last one, I just, now to be fair, the greens, are not that great today. So they were bouncing all around and I didn't make any really with my putter. So uh, I think it, it's a good putter and they look beautiful. I think this would be a great like gift uh, or something like something classic if you're into that. It's cool. You got a nice awesome case to protect it because that wood will ding up a little bit banging around your clubs but so would as the other ones. So there you go. Watts Putter. Give them a checkout. Link in the description below. Love you guys. See you in the next video.